previously on Fire Emblem, Larakel didn't hear Renak's voice and we were wondering where he was. Let's find out. Dozler, where's Renak run off to this time? Hmm? He was with us at mealtime before we bought it, but... That man can be such a distraction. Oh well, never mind. Let's get started destroying these agents of chaos. Gwa, leave it to me. Well, there we go. I guess no one knows where he is. And so the mystery remains unsolved. But perhaps we shall find out in due course. We can hope. A man can dream. Man can hope and dream. And all of the above. Most certainly. Well, Vanessa, that's a... It's a well-placed heavy spear. Picking those. Oh, shit. This guy's the boss. Are you fucking serious, mate? Are you shitting me? That is not a great thing. Well, at least I found out. At least I found out before everything went wrong. Um, I would like to get you on my team, Marikel, but I think Ephraim probably needs to talk to you, so I'll get him moving on over there. Moving on up now. Uh, Naomi can practice her sword technique. She, she's, uh... Not fantastic at it, and unfortunately got hit by freaking 8 damage. It's not what I'm about. I'm not all about that, getting hit by damage. Um, it's not my scene! Never was, never will be. I'm just telling you straight up. Fucking, what is this purple skull man? I don't like him. Man, Fire Emblem is pretty scary when you think about it, like... These fucking purple skull guys, like if you actually legitimately in real life saw a purple skull guy, I'm pretty sure you would shit yourself. Not gonna lie. Pretty sure you would just take a giant dump in your trousers. That would uh wouldn't be a good thing. On any count. I must decree. I do declare I do decree. God, this axe reaver is actually doing well for me. And once again, we're face down with the dragon with a giant spear who's gonna stat- Oh, wait a second! My horse is made out of fucking steel! Get out! <laughs> oh god, can you imagine? A mechanical horse that you would ride your steed into battle. Mechanical steed. Fucking broken! It would also mean that if your horse got hit by a rogue arrow, it wouldn't go down, which would be rather nice, actually. I would approve of that. Nah, you know, Natasha, I'm gonna give Gilliam the... the kill, because he deserves it more. It's a lower level. Cormac needs to do something, but... apparently he's not going to, so... I'll just float him around here next to Natasha, they can just chill. But we still have... oh no, Vanessa's time. Fuck. How far can these guys go? Ugh, I need to move loot out of the way. She's in somewhat danger. What about Calm? Calm's okay, actually. He's fine, just chilling up there for the moment. All right, let's end the turn. Endo the turn. Oh, dodge it, dodge it, jump out the way. Miss, 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 miss. Today. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Well, Naomi. It seems like you're having to engage dra Jesus Christ 12, don't you dare shit! It's not what I like to see ever, 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 ever. And I hope that there are not more dragons down there, but I bet there probably are because that's just how life works, isn't it? Just how fucking life works. It's like, oh, I didn't realize because I hadn't cleared the fog! Natasha, you should have been on that shit. Where were you? God. My units, they never listened to me. It's like. Fucking underleveled Pokemon or over under over leveled? No. Over leveled Pokemon where you don't have the right gym badge. They just don't give a fuck. Like, I'm just gonna slap myself in the face because you didn't don't have the authority to tell me what to do, so I'm just gonna <sighs> Seriously. Like Pokemon in the wild don't act like that. They don't slap themselves in the face, at least not that I've heard of. At least I hope they don't. That would be just weird. Kind of wrong. Unethical. Really? When you think about it? I mean, these fucking eyeballs need to get out of my life. Just don't want to see them. Do Joshua somehow has dodged every fucking hit that's come his way. Which I'm mightily pleased about. This isn't good. 
but at least uh, it is only a 45% uh, chance to hit, which is pretty fantastic, all things considered. So, I'll live with it. I will live with it. Um, okay, Ephraim, you need to get over here. That's his mission, to talk to her. And I don't have any ranged shit from any of these people. Oh, God, Naomi, you need to gonna, you need to gonna go. You're gonna need to go up there and do the ranged shit. I lost 15 times 2. That is what Gilliam is built for. That is his modem, modus operandi. Modus operandi. I always get that wrong. I don't know why, because they've classics for fucking years and years, but it's still just stupid. Gilliam's hair is cool. Some guy tweeted me a picture of Gilliam and someone else. I can't remember. It was a picture of them having an arm wrestle. It's like Gilliam and... I don't remember. I just don't remember. Okay, what's first of all, though? I would like to staff Torch. I no, I wouldn't. Would I? Maybe it's just better to try and bring Colm over there. Hmm. Let's pop that over. Uh, I'm going to throw you down here. Do this. 19, yeah. That works. Oh, stab in the eye. Uh, I'm trying to think like how sh I should lay out my plans here. Because I do you have these fucking eyeballs to deal with. And there are two more up there as well. God damn. I think I should send Joshua and stuff south. But I do need to get rid of these guys as quickly as possible. And Naomi needs real bad healing. Holy shit, she needs healing. Okay, so I'll bring her up here and heal her. Uh, I feel like that's the best plan of action for those two. They're both on horseback. Neither of them on horseback in my Erica playthrough. It's definitely a, uh, a massive change, one might say. Uh, yeah, let's just get rid of this fucking iron sword. I'm done. Just break it. Break it upon his skull! Lodge it in between his eyes. Nasty. Well, he's a level 2 paladin, and the, the growths have been bad today. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, not well pleased with them. But that's the case sometimes, and that's what you're gonna have to deal with. Life. Uh, yeah, let's just kill this man, actually. Just kill this guy, uh, and then we only have one more down here. We have this eyeball over here, which Dozler should deal with. Hopefully, Larakel can survive a bit longer, and that is going to be my turn. I'm going to finish there. Good job. Go attack this man, because he is well-armored and much better equipped to take a sword to the face than loot is, because she is so doesn't know what's going on. She's a woman. In a man's world. Apart from, she kicks much more ass than most of the guys do. Funnily enough. It just so happens to be that female mages, they're the shit, man. They are the shit. They're not shit. They are the shit. As is the common term. In the common tongue. Did you know? No damage. Look at this shit. Nothing. Can't touch me with your eyes. You try to pull yourself out of someone's socket just so you could try and hurt me. No chance of that, buddy boy. You do have to think, like, how were these eye creatures created? Were they like... So my theory is that there was like an island of cyclopses. Cyclopi? Cycl... What the fuck would the plural of cyclops be? Cycloops? Cycleps, Cyclopses? Cyclopses. So there's this island of Cyclopses. And, uh... And that's, and that's what happened. So a magician one day came to the island. And was all like, Bitch, please! I don't like you. I don't want you to see me. I want to be hidden. So he, he put a spell on them all. And the Cyclopses suddenly had their eyes torn from their faces, their singular eyes, their one eyes, and uh, that was the end of that chapter. That's it. They couldn't, they couldn't see, but the eyes were still sentient because they were all infused with magic, right? So these sentient eyes decided to 
run across the world and uh, and just wreak havoc. And that is what that's the story behind this entire scenario. See, I know um, lore. lore. Oh, there's a crit that's actually somewhat kind of useful-ish. Although all it does is save one notch in an arrow. One notch in an arrow. One um, arrow in a bow. I don't know what I'm saying. Right, this guy has a far-reaching range and I'm really, like, dead. So I need to elixir my way back up over here. Just need to leave that guy alone. Holy shit. Ugh. He's dangerous. I'll go back and face him down, but for the time being, I need to... Oh yeah, I need to talk to Laracal. Let's have a conversation. You are? Fret not, a willy traveler, for I am here to save you. I grant you the favor of my divine aid. Who are you? What are you doing here? Ah, can it be? Do you not know the tales of my deeds? Have you not heard of the beauteous young woman traveling to defeat evil? No, I haven't. Oh, what is it? It's nothing. Please pay me no mind. I just feel a bit like being alone and weeping for a while. What? No, you can't. This is no place for crying. I'm sure you've noticed, but we're under attack by monsters. If you can do anything to help, it would be appreciated. We would appreciate it. That's a good idea. I'll do it. Now, I want you to observe closely my graceful actions. Well, I guess she is now on our team, so she can talk to Dozzler and get him on our team. Dozzler? Yes, what is it, Princess Laracal? We're going to be working together with those people. I want you to stay close by. Are you ready? Go on, all ready as always. And he, of course, is ready as always. He is fucking Dozzler after all. With the battle axe, with the battle cry, with the battle helmet and axe. Did I say axe already? Yes, that was the first thing I said. I apologize for being not clever. I was going to say something ruder there, but I decided against it. Because sometimes you just go for what the flow is. <sighs> Kyle is actually not doing too bad against magical. You know, when you think about the fact that he's not the best res-wise, it's pretty good, I feel. Um, oh, yeah, you ran over there, didn't you? Son of a bitch. What's this guy's range like? Okay. Well, I should probably start shuttling. Shuttling? Yeah. People back to the boss. Because we're actually pretty much done, I think. I'm, what is the objective of this chapter? Is it just to kill everything? Or is it to beat the boss? I'm not sure I can remember, honestly. I don't know why I mended there, either. That was pretty fucking dumb. Oh well. Uh, armor Slayer. Let's just use the Armor Slayer. Just to get the one shot clean kill. I know that it's kind of wasting it, but... Let's just get rid of that fucking Iron Sword on him. There's no point in having it. I mean, it's, here's the thing. Like, I know people like to be conservative with their weapons and just use the bad ones to use them up. But if you have enough money, like I do, why not just buy the best shit, right? Just buy the best shit and just go to town with it. That's my, my opinion. And I'm not really following through with my opinion, so I wouldn't say I'm the best uh, person to listen to for advice when it comes to that, but so be it. Oh shit, he's moving. Okay, he's moving. He is moving. Moving in. Moving on up now. Right, so I can get a shot with Natasha with lightning. Do 13 times 2, which is pretty much guaranteed. Yeah, that's a really good solid damage. And uh, I can send loot in for a bit of Thunder at 23 or just 20 solid. I would say 20 solid. Uh, and then if that doesn't finish it off... Actually, you know what? I'm going to start with Luke because she's already level 20, so I don't want her gaining experience from it. So fire off fire. Fire off a fire. Boom! Down to 17. Good stuff. And she dodges. See? She's not even evolved and she's already kicking ass. And then Natasha can come in for some lightning action and she's going to 16 it. Meaning that I should be able to finish things off with uh, Vanessa. Oh, actually, no. God damn, she just kills. Why am I even... God, I was looking at the wrong numbers there. Well, there you go. Boss is taken out. Maybe we'll find out now whether that was the condition for finishing the map or whether we have to just kill everything. And we got a short spear. Uh... Oh, I didn't want to send a lightning. That was dumb. Nope, I guess that the condition is just to finish the map, which means we can just 
kill this guy with a quick heavy spear. And that is going to be that. At least I hope so. And that's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Wow. Restore the remaining monsters. The ship appears to be empty. And once again, the forces of righteousness prevail. Thank you. We owe our victory to you. Don't mention it. My name is Lara Kell. I'm on a never-ending quest to defeat evil in the name of virtue and order. Wait, your face has a certain familiarity. I recently met a young woman who greatly resembles you. Do you mean Erica? She's my sister. Erica? Isn't that the name of the Princess of Rene? And you have a very regal air about yourself, don't you? My name is Ephraim, Prince of Rene. We're fighting to end Grotto's invasion, to be honest. And now he tells the entire story. Oh my! In that case, I must accompany you. Do you understand that we alone are facing the armies of Grotto? We face untold numbers, and our odds of success are embarrassingly small. You clearly do not know who I am. Do not be startled by what I am about to disclose to you. I'm the Princess of Rouston, Theocracy of the Righteousness. You're the Princess of Rouston? Hmm, you certainly don't have the bearing of a commoner, but... Ah, of course. My natural nobility gives me away every time. Truth to tell, dire circumstances have led me to begin this journey in secret. Prince Ephraim of Rene, please be assured that Rouston is your ally. Let us stand together against the villainous Grado Empire. Well, that's that, Dosla. We will now be travelling with Ephraim and his companions. Whoa, understood. For you, Princess Larico, I would dive headlong into a sea of evil. Why, well, I'd even tie myself up with robes and Jane first. Such fabulous devotion. You're truly my most loyal attendant. Let us be off, then. Gwaha! Gwaha, indeed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, we end the chapter 11. Phantom ship went a lot smoother than I thought it did. Hope you guys are enjoying this still. Um, I know, of course, not as many people able to keep up with Fire Emblem and watch it, but I do appreciate the people, the hardcore, you guys who stick here and stick around and wait for my episodes. Um... Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, and next time we will continue uh, with Ephraim's story and hopefully we'll be uh, through that pretty soon. Till then, goodbye.